Hey there, everybody. Geek Gen Damien here, and I am joined by web comic artist Shannon Ganson. Shen is the artist and mastermind behind OwlTurdComics.com. So, Shen, if I can call you Shen, allow me to welcome you to the Geek Generation. Thank you so much, Damien. I'm glad to be here. So, Shen, tell me about yourself a little bit. Well, I'm a I'm a web comic artist. Uh, I'm a senior in college right now. Started formally creating comics and kind of posting them in one place uh, in my sophomore year towards the end of it. So really not all that long ago. Uh, but prior to that, I was just making things, posting it in various parts of the internet. Uh, and I still get messages sometimes from people who are like, oh, I knew you on that website. Or, I knew you on that website. So cool. Always... So you've been doing art for a long time now. Yeah. Very cool. Very yeah. cool. So let me just get the burning question out out of the way right now. Why mm -hmm. why do you call it Owl Turd Comics? What what Owl Turds? That's what uh, is it? Uh, you know, I, I'm pretty sure it was it was 2 a.m. It was no no less than 2 a.m. And uh, I was on GoDaddy and I was just looking at domains and I was like, oh, okay, okay, what's a, what's like a, a good domain that's not like $2,000? <laughs> And then I looked up Alterd, I'm not even sure why, but it was there and it was like 12 bucks and I could get the dot .com, I could get the, the dot .biz, I was like, no, <laughs> no, I want the dot .com, I don't want the dot .biz, thank you, GoDaddy. Um, and uh, I, guess, I guess part of the reasoning behind that was, um, so I've been informed that I'm totally wrong about this since then, but like... I thought in an owl turd you might find like all you might find like a little rat skull. Yeah. You might find like your your toy truck that you lost a while ago. Yeah. Um, and uh, I've been informed since then that those are owl pellets that oh. I'm thinking of. Yeah, those are pellets. Those come out of their mouth. But since you know, I've remained owl turd comics because like, it's too late. <laughs> 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 it's too late. I'm altered. I'll be honest, I thought the same thing, so you've just informed me. Mm. So, Shen, that's also the name of, like, your, your main character. Yep. Uh, what's your main character like? Uh, my main character is... Hmm. It, it's kind of, it's kind of uh, hard to explain. Personality-wise, I guess Shen is uh, like I would be if I were totally uninhibited. Okay in the sense that uh, he voices a lot of the sort of thoughts I have, but I think, uh, you know, that's that's too dumb to say. Mm -hmm. You know, like, that's just too dumb to say among my close group of friends, but broadcasting it to, like, tens of thousands of people? No, that's fine. <laughs> tens of thousands. That's... Yeah, no, that's, that's fine. So I've seen your comics on, on the internet, mm -hmm. um, and they're, it's digital art. It's not mm -hmm. like you like drawing something on paper and scanning it in. How, how do you make your comics technology-wise? Uh, yeah, you're correct. It's all digital. Uh, very rarely have I worked traditionally except when my tablet broke, and then every once in a while you might find like some paper scribbles. <laughs> um, and that's, that's just me drawing on a tablet. Usually I'll do a sketch beforehand, okay. uh, and then I'll make a separate layer and do the final artwork on top of the sketch, following the sketch, as you know any artist would do. There's like a separate sketching, inking process. But uh, I, I don't know, there's, uh, among webcomics artists in general, mm -hmm. uh, I feel like there's a lot more variety than people think. Uh, many artists that I thought worked completely digitally, like uh, Kate Beaton, who makes Hark of Vagrant, uh, Reza Ferazmand, who makes uh, poorly drawn lines, they actually work traditionally. Or wow. at least they sketch traditionally, and then they ink digitally. Uh, but I, I do all digital, uh, for the sake of speed, I guess, mostly. Very cool, very cool. Mm -hmm. um, you kind of have like your own like defining art style. Um, is that something that you kind of do on purpose, or is that something that comes naturally? I, I guess I do it on purpose, mm -hmm. in a sense, uh, because... I like to have a, a little quirk by which people can recognize me. Yeah. Um, 
because to, to, to some extent I know that uh, people might uh, put my work anywhere. They might cut off the little alter.com. Uh, but the fact of the situation is they can't get rid of a style. Right. You know, like, for example, if if you have uh, some, like, Simpsons screenshots with text, right. like, everybody is going to know that Simpsons. You're basically advertising Simpsons. Mm -hmm. You don't need to link to, like, Simpsons.com, <laughs> right? Um, so uh, I guess to some extent I kept it distinct uh, because I wanted it to start to become recognizable. Yeah. But also, uh, it evolved naturally because at first my comics weren't in color. Okay. And I, I kind of had like a, a joke where even if my comics become color, like Shen still wasn't in color. Yeah. That's, that's why the nose is, is gray. Like no, oh. yeah. Uh, so the nose is gray, whereas it, like normally you might have thought it was intended to be like a blush red. Okay. Um, and I'm just like, oh no, Shen's just, he's gray blooded. <laughs> He's a legendary and gray nose. He's a legendary gray nose, yeah. Uh, and it's also inspired by, um, like, Wind Waker and Animal Crossing, like okay. Nintendo styles, the whole, like, triangle nose thing. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Where do you say your inspiration comes from? Um, a lot of times we'll see little skits with, like, Shannon characters doing stuff. Otherwise, we have them, we have, like, Shen sitting in his armchair with his robe doing some existential, mind-blowing stuff to the audience. Where, mm -hmm. where does that all come from? Um, other web comics. Okay. Uh, I would say, uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say like I'm doing too much that's like exceptionally new, but I, I do take a lot of inspiration. Like, uh, a lot of the inspiration from my art style comes from like Dave Kelly or Schmorky, who does animation for something awful. Um, a lot of the inspiration from my writing style comes from, uh, Womp, a comic by Ronnie Filia, uh, who's... Whose work I just read straight through, I just binged in one day, and wow. I thought it was just uh, amazing, and I wanted to make something like that, uh, because for for a while, you know, I would be reading a lot of web comics, and I, I would think uh, it's it's funny, mm -hmm. but it's not that funny. And I think Womp was the first one I encountered where I was like, wow, this is like this person knows what they're doing is just genuinely very funny, and. I think the chair bits, kind of the, the type where I'm just talking, um, I think w the first time I made those, I was uh, remembering a comic called Chaos Life Okay. Uh, that I read. Um, far better comic uh, than, <laughs> than my own. I would recommend anybody, anybody listening, check out that one. Okay. Um, in which they did do some bits, um, I, I think, explaining things like gender theory. Uh, but they were always like sitting in a chair and oh. just sort of talking, and they they had a robe as well. But uh, I, I think the whole like sitting in a chair with a robe, like okay, minus the fireplace, yeah, is is a classic, a classic concept. Yeah, very true. So aside from you know your site, your Facebook pages, mm -hmm. I've seen your work posted a few different places. But one place that really stuck out is seeing your one of your comics on Dorkly. Mm -hmm. How did that happen? Uh, the Dorkly comic, uh, I believe that was the one about reincarnation. Uh, not reincarnation, but the afterlife, right? The one in, in which, like, I compared it to kind of, like, spectating in a video game? Yes. Yep. Yeah, okay. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Somebody at Dorkly must have seen it and liked it. <laughs> cool. Uh, it's happened before with other websites like uh, BuzzFeed. Mm -hmm. Um I'm always uh, excited about it. Like yep. I, I always love it when uh, websites that I see is very legitimate. Mm -hmm. They're just like, oh, this is actually, this is like a real website. This is an alter.com, <laughs> you know. Awesome. And, and they like my work and they want to display it. Uh, so it's, it's really quite flattering. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. Have you uh, ever been commissioned to do comics? Yeah. Uh, I've been commissioned in the past by uh, websites like Slugbooks. Cool. Uh, I've been commissioned by um, College Humor uh, and Dorkly itself, actually. Like, uh, actually in the in the sense that they reached out to me and said, hey, we'll pay you to make this comic. Wow. Uh, I've participated in comic jams on those websites. What's that? Which, uh, a comic jam is like uh, they reach, they ping... A lot of different artists that they like mm -hmm. and they say okay we're all gonna make a comic about this subject 
and cool. uh, you know we'll we'll pay you obviously, but like it's it's mostly it's mostly for fun. It's like a for fun type deal. And then currently I make uh, comics for Webtoon. Uh, Webtoon is uh, a website by Naver, which is this big, big old Korean company. Okay. Um, and they're trying to kind of expand to the United States because in uh, Korea, mm-hmm. uh, web comics are a huge thing, like giant thing. Like, I didn't know that. No, no, no. It's it's huge. They call it manhwa, cool. like like Japanese manga. Ah, um, okay. Yeah. Um, and like something like twenty five percent of the population just visits their site daily, their Holy site specifically. Um, and I've also been told, well, by them, mm. <laughs> I'm not sure how biased their opinion is, but I've been told by them that there's literally just no such thing as an independent web comic. Okay. In Korea, like all web comic artists just work for them. Wow. Yeah. Uh, but they they've uh, they're extending their tendril to, to the United States, where I I see a lot of potential for something like this because in the United States, like independent web comic artists is all there are, mm-hmm. and there's no single place where you can just go and like see everything. Okay. So th- I think their their business plan is is solid, but uh, I'm I'm getting a bit off topic here. All I, all I want to say is I I create a serialized series of comics for them. Very they, cool. Yeah, regularly commissioned. Shenanigans and going international. Very mm-hmm. cool. Very cool. <laughs> going going uh, bi-national. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Two nations. Yep. So recently you just had a Kickstarter go through with mm-hmm. one of your works. Mm-hmm. Your comic, We Go Forward. Mm-hmm. What was that all about? Uh, that was uh, that was a project by a publisher. Okay. Uh, the, they reached out to me. They said they were a huge fan of the comic and wanted to uh, put it on Kickstarter. Very and, cool. You know, just kind of collaborate with me. Um, it's an appealing option because, you know, I'm a student. Uh, I make comics regularly. Mm-hmm. I don't really have time to, like, format a book and yeah, send true. it off and do test prints. You know, that's just way too much. I want to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so the idea of a publisher doing it is very appealing to me. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so I, I let them do it. Uh, that went through, uh, reached its goal. Uh, we ended up with a little over 6,500. And, yeah, it was, it was good. <laughs> that's awesome. Are there any any other projects that of you know something maybe related? Uh, any any other offers by other publishers to do anything like that, or any other projects that maybe you yourself are working on in the near future? Well, I, I've had a few people reaching out to me wanting to do a game of We Go Forward because it already has like a very fitting art style for that. Yeah, very like 8-bit retro where the the whole gag is like the Super Mario Brothers once you go right you can't go back left type of thing. Exactly, yeah, yeah. That's so cool. And it's, and it's, a, it's a mini it's a mini game. Like mm-hmm. it obviously wouldn't be a long like triple A title. <laughs> but um, I've been I've been thinking of of taking one of those offers um the the only thing is I would want to help them out a little bit with the budget, so okay. it's kind of a a risk on my part, mm-hmm. uh, like a, a genuine investment in which I'm like, am I am I going to get a return right. on this? Uh, as as much as I would like to see it happen, like yeah. I, I would love to see it happen. But you some. definitely want to be involved. Exactly, and there's also a tussle fest. Uh, tussle fest is uh, I I was very briefly like obsessed with wrestling, I guess. Really? Uh, after I watched this video called Wrestling is in Wrestling on YouTube. Okay. Um, and that's that's been kind of going semi-viral. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of, like, references to it all over the place. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's just kind of a parody of it. It's really easy to write, uh, really easy to draw, but I want to make it into some kind of a little tiny book. Cool. <laughs> because it, it's actually, like... It's a story that I can actually finish. It's like a little tournament, yeah. and it actually has a definitive ending. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I, I have it. I have it all planned out. I think it's going to be good. Very cool. That's yeah. awesome. So aside from being an artist, um, you yourself, you're very into like the geek culture. Um, you know, mm-hmm. video games, comics, stuff of the like. What do you enjoy? What do you do in your spare time when you're not making comics? 
Well, I'm usually like I'm I'm gaming, I'm watching anime, things like that. I don't know. I do all sorts of stuff. Um, like people are are always messaging me that they're like surprised that I referenced a thing, but they it should be really no surprise <laughs> because <laughs> because like I know all this stuff. Like I don't just sit there just sort of make comics. Mm -hmm. uh, I like indie games. Uh, I would say that's like one of one of my bigger things. Uh, for a while, I couldn't really play AAA titles because okay. uh, I don't have a console, mm -hmm. and my computer used to be really bad. Now it's less bad. Less so, bad. All so right. Now, yeah. Now I can play like 3D games. <laughs> you know, um, but uh, indie games thing is generally re um, require less uh, processing power mm -hmm. and such. Uh, can still tell a really compelling story. Of course. Yeah. Um, so that's that's usually what I've been to recently. I've been uh, I've been trying to crank through Hotline Miami two. The soundtrack, just by itself, like I, I would pay the price mm -hmm. just for the soundtrack. Just like let me hear the noises. That's incredible. But, yeah, yeah. Um, gameplay is is super tough, but uh, like rewarding. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know occasionally you'll take like your gaming play and you'll you'll do like a Shen do does games for like reviews and stuff. Um, mm -hmm. Is that something that you do like when you when you find a good game that you want to review, or is it something that you do when you just kind of want to mash your art and game playing together? It's something that I do generally when I'm very excited about a game. Okay. Which is why all of my reviews end up like very positive. I feel like I I've looked back on this stuff before, and everything is just like ah, ten out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> it's like what, what's even the point? Like there's no discerning between what games are good and what games are bad. Right. But that's because I only like play them if they are good. I, I do just want to like find something that I can rag on eventually, but uh, I haven't quite found it yet. And that's that's like a mix of stuff. Sometimes that's uh, retro mm -hmm. games. Sometimes that's uh, uh, indie stuff that I find on Steam. Um, just really whatever whatever interests me. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah. Alrighty. So uh, I think we're probably gonna wrap this up shortly. I just want to ask you a couple, I guess, uh, opinion questions before we do. Um, so first of all, DC or Marvel? Oh gosh, um, Marvel. Marvel. Yeah, I'm any particular go. reason? Uh, well, Spider-Man is like definitively my favorite hero, uh, wow. but I I have to give props to DC for Batman. Mm -hmm. uh, like, like really just a brilliant brilliant comic premise. Like even though Spider-Man is my favorite hero, uh, I I've probably read more Batman comics than okay. I've read Spider-Man comics. Mm -hmm. Um, just because they're they're so compelling, there's like an um, a kind of intellectual aspect. There's like a psychological aspect. There's there's punching things. There's kicking. Hooray for punching and kicking! Yeah, uh, the Joker, just a brilliant character. Yes. I don't know. I, I feel like uh, other other DC characters like uh, Green Lantern and Superman don't quite appeal to me as much. Mm -hmm. Whereas Marvel just has uh, a bunch of characters like uh, Spider Man, like Daredevil. Uh, that are just uh, th they're more appealing to me in general. X Men, mm -hmm. yeah, very cool. Have you been watching the new Daredevil on I have, Netflix? I have been. It's so good. Yeah, it's amazing. So uh, I I love how how Kingpin is. I, I I can't I don't quite get Kingpin, mm -hmm. but he's clearly not a generic like ha ha. <laughs> I am a villain. Exactly. You know. Um, oh, he's so you can just em empathize with him so much. You, you don't want to hate him, but you do. Yeah. But you don't. He's he's really sad looking all the time. <laughs> yeah, like he's just like oh I don't, I don't want to be doing anything to anyone that's bad. But then he like he he does. He with, slams with the doors, guys door. with doors of cars. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, how about Star Trek or Star Wars? <sighs> Uh, Star Wars. Star Wars. Yes. Are you excited for the seventh movie? I'm I'm super excited. Uh, I don't really know what's gonna happen. The new Sith looks mm -hmm. really cool. Do you, Do you know his name yeah. by any chance? Uh, his name? No, I it, not off the top of my head. I don't. Uh, he he's really cool. Um, Han Solo is is old. <laughs> he is old. <laughs> Chewbacca is not significantly older. There, I, not I a gray hair on him. Yeah. How long do Wookiees live for, even? I don't know. I'd have to check the wiki. I don't know. The Wookiee wiki. <laughs> the Wookiee wiki. Wookiee.wiki. Wookiee.wiki.com. Yeah. Star Wars, uh, super cool. 
Cool. Yeah. Uh, PC gaming or console gaming? PC. I don't really have much in terms of consoles. Mm-hmm. I had a GameCube. That was cool. Alrighty. <laughs> good console. Luigi's Mansion, good game. Yeah. Cool. Alrighty. I think we can start wrapping it up. Um, is there anything that you'd like to plug? Some of the projects that you might be working on or any of like, the people that you'd like to give a shout out to? Shout outs to my buddy AC Stewart. He, he's a cartoonist. He works at College Humor now because mm-hmm. uh, he was so good that they were just like, we're giving you a job. Nice. Um, yeah, so look him up, noobtheloser.tumblr.com. Uh, shout outs to me, <laughs> <laughs> elter.com. Of course. Um, can they follow you on Twitter or anything on Facebook? They can. Uh, they can. Uh, shenanigans and on Twitter. Okay. Uh, and Altered Comics on Facebook. But you can just Google, you know, Altered Comics, Facebook. It'll all come up. And shout outs to kind of like my favorite my favorite comic artist, I would say, which is uh, uh, Ronnie, Philia, uh, Schmorky. Again, I, I mentioned both of them. Mm-hmm. And also um, Boulet. Uh, Boulet Corp, French cartoonists, uh, brilliant art. Comics are animated sometimes. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah. <laughs> That's it. All right, cool. Well, thank you for joining me, Shen. Um, if you want to hear more cool stuff, uh, head on over to the geekgeneration.com. If you want to follow me on Twitter, you can follow me as MC Hammerbro. Look for Geek Gen Damien. Looking forward to seeing more awesome art from you, Shen. Thank you. Thank you, Geek Gen Damien. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, you know, as long as even one person is, is there just sort of looking, I'll, I'll be there making... At some rate. <laughs> well, I can tell you right now that I will probably be that one person. Uh, I hope you're not the only one. <laughs> <laughs> you know, as much as I like you, I hope it doesn't come to that. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, and shout-outs to, to Geek Generation. Uh, good website. Thank uh, you. shout out specifically to the Nintendo columnist. No idea who he is. Ah. But he's, he's, just, he's just amazing at what he does. <laughs> Well, very cool. That's uh, Owl Turd Comics again. Check them out. You will have a great time reading them. You will laugh. You'll probably cry because you're laughing so hard. They're just wonderful. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. We're handshaking. We are. Uh, yeah, up, down, up, down. There we go. <laughs> See ya. <laughs>